Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It is Halloween finally and I get to do all these tutorials for you guys. So I'm starting off with this pumpkin face tutorial and it was so much fun making. So today I am starting off by taking any pencil white liner and drawing a line directly down my face um, to separate my face in half. Now I'm taking this belief the True Cream Moisturising Balm just to set my face and to give my face some hydration so it's ready for foundation. So the foundation I'm taking today is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Normal to Dry. It's in the colour 110, so colour porcelain. And yes, I'm not tanned, so it's not the usual 120, it's 110. I have to go a little bit lighter. And just putting that on my face with my beauty blender then I am putting this concealer on it's the superstay 24 hour concealer from Maybelline and it is in the shade light so number two and to set my whole face I'm taking this fit me Maybelline powder in the shade 120 and just putting that all over my face to set my face so I can put my bronzer on. The bronzer I'm taking is this Rimmel London bronzer. It's in the color Sundance. And I'm putting this on my cheeks, my temple, and cannot forget the chin because do not need any double chin showing. <laughs> So now I'm doing the brows. So for Perth girls and boys, Quetta Brows in Cottesloe, I'm taking their palette. This is the powder palette and I'm taking this dark shade and one, two, three, boom, magic. Like imagine if you could do your brows that quickly. Now I'm taking this Violet Voss Pro palette. It's the Ride or Die palette. The colors that I'm taking today in order is Erica, Riot, Alice Riley, sorry, Josie and Skylar. Now, these colors I'm taking in order and I'm just building them up so that they can make like a nice warm tone bronzed, you know, smoky eye. I think these colors work perfectly together and this palette is massive like there are so many colors that you can choose from I chose those colors because they match you know the orange pumpkin feel and I feel like the smoky eye had to match the rest of my face when I start doing the pumpkin makeup so just blending out these colors so that they're Blending seamlessly and these colors are so good to blend. Such a good palette. Now I'm going to be going into this beautiful um, orange glitter shade called Stephanie and I'm putting this on my lid. Kind of doing a cut crease but a half cut crease with this colour. Okay so now I'm going into Caitlin, Riley and Josie and I'm putting these colours in order underneath my eyes just to smoke it out. Now I'm doing liquid eyeliner, so I'm taking this Stiller Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Such a good eyeliner, it literally stays on. So girls, if you want an eyeliner and you go swimming, this is the eyeliner to definitely have. Okay, so now I'm taking this Crayola on um, black 
pencil liner. I'm just putting this in my tight line and also my upper waterline. So now I am taking this Yves Saint Laurent Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara and putting that on my top lashes. And then I'm going to be putting on these Napoleon Purtis Lashes Xenia. They are literally like amazing lashes. Okay, now let's move on to the rest of the face. Taking that same white pencil eyeliner. I'm just drawing out, like mapping out my face, which parts are going to be black and which parts are going to be orange. I feel like if I do it in white eyeliner that if I make a mistake I can easily just erase it. Now I'm taking this black crayon pencil liner and I'm just doing the outline of what the mouth is going to be. This. I would have to say was the hardest part of the whole makeup look harder even harder than the eyeliner because it is so hard to get these points completely pointed if that makes sense and just to get it looking somewhat of a creepy mouth And then now I'm just going around all the white pencil eyeliner that I did on my face um, now that I know the shape of what everything is going to be. Now taking this Crayolon um, makeup palette, it's a paint, face paint makeup palette. I'm taking this orange colour and this red colour and mixing them together and literally just putting the orange all over my face um, apart from the outline that we made.
Okay, so now I'm taking this L'Oreal Palace Super Black Buster Liner in the color black. And this is a really thick eyeliner, so I just use this to outline around my eyes. And I also use this liner to outline my nose and to also fill it in. Um, I didn't really have a black paint, so this worked perfectly fine. And because this eyeliner is super thick, it produces a lot of product, so it did not run out at all. And I've taken the Stiller Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm just outlining the outline of the mouth. Um, the Still Aligner has a bit of point, a more thin point than um, the L'Oreal Paris one. Um, and I felt like if I used the thicker point, then I wouldn't get the precision. The wow, I cannot speak. The precision, precision. Oh my god, can it precision. That's the word, precision. Oh my god. Wow, I give up. I couldn't get the points <laughs> that I wanted to get. Oh my god. It's a monster. So now I've gone back into the Ride or Die palette by Violet Voss. I've taken the black colour called Carly and I've filled in my eye with that colour. Um, I didn't want to use the black eyeliner for my eyes because I know that it would have been so hard to take it off. Um, but yeah, the black worked amazingly. These colors are so pigmented. Um, but if you want to make it more intense, the black color, then I recommend you spray your brush first with Fix Plus and that will make the color more intense like it does with every other color. It doesn't matter if you go out of the lines as well because later on we are smoking out the outline anyway. And I'm just taking the same color Carly from the Ride or Die palette that I used on my eyes and I'm putting that on my mouth. Um, and just to do the points to make them a little bit darker, I am then taking the L'Oreal Paris eyeliner just to make the points a little dark. Now, I'm so sorry with this bit, but my camera completely cut out. Didn't film me doing the rest of my face, but I literally just filled it in with the Carly eyeshadow and just the points with the L'Oreal Paris eyeliner. So now I'm taking this, the Stiller waterproof eyeliner and I'm doing the pumpkin lines that you see. So. I'm going from right in the middle of my forehead and I'm curving the lines around my forehead down to my eye. So this will give your face a more rounded look like a pumpkin. And you have to try and make the lines all connect. Um, from the very top of your head all the way down to your chest and now I'm just outlining the division line um, on my face 
just to make that more prominent. Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to make a few cracks in my face um, and I'm using that Stiller eyeliner still. Um, literally just make these cracks as many or little as you want. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm taking the colour Riley and Sarah from the Ride or Die palette and I'm just going over the liquid liner that we just put in our face for those lines. This way it's just smoking them out and it's just making, giving your face a little bit more depth so it's not just all one dimensional. So we're using those eyeshadows to give the lines a little bit more depth and we're also using it um, to give the cracks a little bit more depth as well. So all the lines that you created on your face, you want to make sure that you always give depth to your face so that it doesn't look flat. This will make the makeup look, look oh my god. Wow, I cannot speak. I'm so sorry, people. This will make your makeup look look more <laughs> interesting and more real. Wow, I'm so sorry, guys. I had a big day today. Finishing off all my assignments. Ah, <sighs> the feel. So now I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick in the colour Candy K and I'm just outlining my lips and putting liquid lipstick on my lips, only on half of it of course because the other half is the pumpkin mouth. Now I'm going back into the Ride or Die palette and I'm taking the colour Michelle and now we are highlighting the high points of the pumpkin face. So this would be everywhere in between the lines that we did just to make those bits stand out and so the lines give it more depth. Okay, so that is the end of my makeup tutorial for you guys. I hope you all loved it. I loved making it for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more Halloween tutorials. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.